Well, you may have caught it on Sunday night. Cat cafes were in the international spotlight during Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen's New Year's Eve special on CNN. And that got us wanting to visit one of these cafes a little closer to home. That's our most Buffalo story of the day. We are joined by John Mayer at hey, a John. cat cafe in Tokyo. If this viral moment had you wanting to visit a cat cafe for yourself, well, good news. You don't have to go all the way to Japan. We visited Buckminster Cat Cafe on Niagara Street today and found this happy family enjoying the company of seven kittens up for adoption. And this is our Christmas gift because I'm a cat lover. <laughs> what did you think when you found out you were coming to the cat when cafe today? When I first today? found out, I'm like, me eating food with cats is a dream come true for me. 13 year old Miley was loving her time cuddling with moonshine. I love animals and I'll do anything I can to help. And so when I found out that they um, have an adoption center here, I'm like, that's the best way that somebody can adopt a cat. Oh, well, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a nice idea, first of all, for the pets, because otherwise you're just locked in cages, right? So it's, it's fun and um, you got a nice menu out front too. Molly Hutton opened Buckminster's a little more than four years ago and named it after her own cat. At the time, Buffalo didn't have a cat cafe, and for a long time I had been visiting cat cafes as I traveled, where, you know, wherever there was one, I would go to it. So I had an idea of what of the kind of place I wanted to create. She partnered with Second Chance Sheltering Network. And you have helped hundreds of kittens and cats find homes here. Yeah, yeah. We, um, to date, we have adopted 796 cats in the little over four years that we've been open. Now, unlike the business John Mayer visited in Tokyo, Buckminster's has separate areas for the cafe and the cats. People can eat in the cat zone though. We prepare it out here and then we carry it into them. So you can eat in with the cats, but it's a, just a little different. There's no pressure or expectation to adopt when you visit, but if you do, you're in good company. And you think you might hit a thousand cats this year adopted? I think, yeah, I think in 2024 we would hit a thousand. Mm -hmm which is, that's my goal. Now, if you want to spend time with the cats when you visit Buckminster's, there is a small fee and it's best to reserve the cat zone in advance on their website. That's it for Most Buffalo today. I'm Lauren Hall and I'll see you back here at four o'clock tomorrow. Channel 2 News first at five starts now.